Hello, my name is Sudha Shankar and I live in New Delhi, India. The international intensive training in Panchgani next year is something that I, along with three others, are organizing. Hi, my name is Mary McKenzie. I'm standing outside my home in Long Beach, California in the USA. This is my safe place. This is the place I feel the most comfortable. My name is Sabine Geiger and um, these days I live in Germany in Bavaria. Hi everyone, this is Ramanusha from Sri Lanka. Hi, I'm John Kenyon. Hi, my name is Ranjita Jyorkar. I'm from Bangalore, India, and I'm honored to be on the training team for the India IIT 2025. I will be at the India International Intensive Training in February 2025. I'll be there with a amazing, wonderful training team of my peers and colleagues. Um, and then there'll be people from all over the world that come to these and it's a, uh, it's such a powerful experience of, of community and, and learning and living the NVC principles, um, a lot of connection and a lot of magic. Indian IITs are always special because uh, India is a land of spirituality and nonviolence. So in the IIT, you will get a curriculum to learn. But it is more than that. You'll be learning a lot from each other, from people across the world who have a lot of experience of NVC and their living experience and their sharing experience also. The International Intensive Training is a nine-day in-person residential um, program. And we have some fabulous trainers. And when I say fabulous, I mean people who have been who are very experienced and who have influenced many, many lives. And I'm excited for all of us to experience them and uh, learn from their wisdom and share our wisdom with them. As the training team, every day during this IIT or an international intensive training, we'll be offering workshops on different topics related to learning and integrating NBC in our lives. But the learning doesn't stop there. There's a lot of informal learning that can be had in your interactions with other participants, in the home groups and other activities that are planned as a part of this residential training. Nonviolent communication is not a theory. It's not a few building blocks that you put together. It's actually a consciousness that you live and um, a way of being in the world. And, and when we accompany certification candidates on their path, that is one of the things we want to see. How do they actually live this, what we call NVC consciousness? How do they integrate it into their lives? And how do they share it with the world? And an IIT is a wonderful place to see that. And one of the things that I especially love that happens in IITs is people figure out how to live together using NVC. Instead of just going to a class and then trying to take it home and maybe struggling with that a little bit, it's like you're there. And in the moment, we get to work on things together. You and me and the other trainers, all of us together figuring things out. It's very powerful. Being in an IIT can be deeply nourishing and I find it also challenging in the best of ways. I say it's nourishing because it's an opportunity to be in community with other people who have a certain kind of commitment to living by these principles of nonviolence, of compassion. And at the same time, it's precisely this that makes it challenging in the best of ways because it encourages us to step out of our comfort zones to learn and to grow and to take that leap and experience what it might be like to show up with more empathy in all of our interactions, not just with others, but also with ourselves. It is not an international intensive training. It is an international intensive experience. Yes, it is. It is a living experience of nonviolent communication. Living in community for nine days together is something that brings about um, in my experience brings brought about great shifts within myself. It gives me a template, a knowing, uh, a conviction 
that life can be lived in a way in which we can see each other, we can express ourselves, uh, express our vulnerabilities, uh, learn to express ourselves freely, listen deeply to each other, to become more adept with certain skills and techniques which help us to live what we call the NBC consciousness. The NBC consciousness, put very simply, is to be able to see the humanity of the other person. There's something magical that happens when we all come together and we share space for 10 days. It's magical. We can try and we can learn and we can explore and we can try again and we can fail and succeed. And, and it's almost like, because it's such a long time, um, like our cells absorb what we learn. And, um, and it's, uh, once our cells have absorbed it, you cannot forget it anymore. It's really all the pain, all the joy, we share it. And um, it's an experience of companionship, of walking that path together. It's something you experience and no one can take it away from you anymore. And you can remember that every time you feel alone when you're back home, what it is like to have support on this path. I would like to share my first IIT experience almost 20 years ago. So I was at my age of 19 and I was very lucky to <clears throat> get the opportunity to participate in this Indian IIT in 2006 with Marshall B. Rosenberg. That was the first time in my life I experienced that much of connection, healing, gratitude in my life, especially with the support of uh, Marshall B. Rosenberg. It made sense of the world around me. It seemed like that missing piece of the jigsaw that went in and made, you know, everything sort of came into focus. I realized that this is something very precious and I have, after that, invested my time and energy in trying to understand NBC better, trying to imbibe it, integrate it, live it as far as is possible and share it. Every IIT gives me a chance to experience what it's like to live in a community where we're all committed to the principles of nonviolent communication. It gives me hope that it's possible to live in a world where everyone's needs matter. And every time I go to an IIT, I come back home with a renewed sense of commitment to living in this way. If you are interested to understand yourself and other person, and find new ways to meet human needs through collaboration. This IIT would be a perfect choice for you. It can give you a new light or hope and skill set. Once we make um, conscious what we unconsciously do and how we function in society and in groups is something that is so helpful that we actually say, oh, this is what I've been doing all my life and I never thought about it. How do I want to be with conflict? What is a purpose that we share? Or how can we deal with each other and communicate in a way that works? How can we deal with finances and resources? So to make these um, implicit systems explicit, it's another passion of mine. I sincerely invite you urge you to take the time to gift yourself these nine very precious days. Join us February 6th to the 15th, 2025 at Panchgani, Maharashtra, India. I hope you'll be there. Will you join me?